Hi, this is Holly Russell, second grade teacher at Paradise Canyon Elementary. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use a number line to help with subtraction. So to start with, I'm going to be using a strategy called going back through 10. My problem that I'm looking at is 16 minus 7. So on the number line, I'm going to start at 16. And I want to subtract to get to 10. So I'm asking myself, how much do I need to take away from 16 to end up on this number 10? I do that because subtracting from a teen number and getting to 10 makes my work much easier. 10 is a friendly number that we worked with a lot. So I know to get from 16 to 10, I've subtracted 6. But I also need to keep in mind that the original problem was to subtract a total of 7. I've subtracted 6, and I know that 7 is one more. So I'm going to go back one more space to subtract a total of 7, and I land on 9. So I know the final answer, my difference, is 9. I can also work with the number 10 on a number line by going up. So I'm looking at the problem 15 minus 7 now. And I'm actually going to put both of those numbers on my number line. When I'm talking about subtraction and the difference between two numbers, I'm also talking about the difference between two numbers on a number line. So instead of going backwards this time, I'm going to be thinking about addition to get the distance between the two. Starting at 7, I'm going to jump up to the 10, my friendly number, because I know that 7 plus 3 equals 10. And I can very easily then jump from 10 all the way to 15. I know that 10 plus 5 equals 15. Now I'm looking at the total distance between those two. 3 plus 5 equals 8. So the difference or distance between 15 and 7 is 8. Now I wanted to show you how I can use that same strategy with larger numbers. So I have an open number line here with no, no labels. I'm going to put the labels on myself, starting with 29. And I know I need to find the distance between 29 and 65. So I'm, I'm going to use my friendly tens. And I'm going to jump first from 29 to my next 10, which is 30. I know I only have to add 1 to do that. Now I could at this point go from 30 to 40, but I'm actually going to jump all the way from 30 to another 10 I know is pretty close to the larger number, 65. I'm going to jump all the way to 60. It's a double fact, I know. 30 plus 30 equals a total of 60. And then my last jump that I need to make on the number line is from 60 to 65 which I know is just adding 5. So my total difference or distance on the number line is 30 plus 1 plus 5 for a difference of 36. Finally, let's look at a problem with a three-digit number. Same idea, starting at 42, moving all the way up to 110. I want to know what the difference or distance is between these two numbers on the number line. So I'm going to jump from 42 up to my next 10, which is 50. I know 42 plus 8 equals 50. Now students could jump at this point all, from 50 all the way to 110. I think I'm going to jump up to 100 because I know that 50 plus 50 equals 100. And then my final jump is pretty easy. 100 to 110, I'm just adding 10. Looking at what I've done, I have 50 plus 10 to make 60, plus 8 more equals a difference of 68. Thanks for watching.